Welcome to the Shortwave Radio Channel, and this is a uh, quick um, look at something that I've always noticed uh, over time. I mean, I've been listening to the shortwave bands for more than 35 years now, and um, one of the observations that is interesting is this time of year, March, April, and you know, the same also for like September or October, when we are near the equinox, um, basically, you know, those times when we change from spring to a fall or fall to spring, depending on where you are around the world, um, there's an interesting phenomenon, the way that the gray line is positioned, the way that, you know, day night are almost of equal length makes for a very interesting DX around the different frequencies. And, um, it is interesting because it uh, is this time of year where uh, often you hear stuff that you almost never hear the rest of the time. You know, there's a lot of differences in propagation and where you're going to listen to and what frequency, depending on the season, you know, summer, winter. Uh, winter is nice because lower frequencies often are really, really at their best. Summer is nice for its own reason. There are some high frequency, uh, higher frequency f uh, stations and signals that are audible that you won't hear uh, at other times. Uh, but one of the biggest problems of summer is midday. Midday in summer is often a little quiet on the bands. But this is kind of a transition period. The uh, equinox is like, you know, we're halfway between winter and summer. So we kind of enjoy the best of both worlds coming together in a very unique way so try all of those frequencies that you know you always say well i never hear anything and try for these stations that are difficult to receive you might be surprised at this time of year where the signals might come from one of the uh, negative sides of things is that the equinox are often um, times where there's a little more geomagnetic activity so geomagnetic storming um, it's a known fact that uh, the way that the Earth is positioned in its orbit gives it a, um, it's, it's kind of more sensitive to the solar wind, but uh, check it out. It's very interesting. I've been listening for the past uh, few days and uh, there's a lot of signals and a lot of things that are interesting to listen to. And of course, uh, this is the last month for the uh, B schedule season, the B-19 schedule season. At the end of this month, we are going to fall into the summer schedules. So that's also something to think about. There's going to be a transition at the end of the month, and we'll be moving to the new schedules, of course. And uh, one last little thing. Remember that UTC never changes. For example, here in North America, we're going to change our time this coming Sunday. We're going to daylight savings time. I know Europe has a different date, but remember that your local time changes, but UTC is always the same. That's why I always say keep a UTC clock, because in times when we change our clocks, it sometimes gets a little, uh, we get mixed up, you know, we're not sure what UTC time it is. So by keeping a UTC clock, well, at least you'll know always what time it is in universal time. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.